Of all the tragic events of the 20th century, one of the most well-remembered is undoubtedly the sinking of the HMS Titanic on the 15th of April, 1912, after striking an iceberg in the North Atlantic on its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York, the massive ocean liner quickly began to sink. Of the 2,224 souls on board, 1,514 lost their lives in the tragedy. One of those who died that evening was the pastor and evangelist John Harper, who was traveling to America with his six-year-old daughter to preach at the Moody Church in Chicago. When the order to abandon ship was given, Harper placed his daughter Annie in lifeboat number 11 and went on to assist with the evacuation, crying out, women, children, and the unsaved go first. Once all the lifeboats were embarked, he was last found swimming back and forth to individuals in the water, asking them this question, are you saved? When a young Scotsman answered no, he gave the man his life jacket, telling him, you need this more than I, for I will be going up, not down. This Scotsman was one of the few survivors plucked from the water, and he gave his life to the Lord that evening, becoming the last convert of John Harper. John Harper's story has been well told, but you may not know what happened to his daughter, Annie. Upon arriving in New York after being rescued, Annie, who was commonly called Nan, found herself an orphan at the age of six, her mother having passed away 12 months earlier. With no surviving guardians, she was cared for by the leadership of the Moody Church until her next of kin could be contacted. Eventually, she was sent back to the UK to live with her uncle in London. Now, one might think, because of her tragic childhood, that Nan would harbor feelings of bitterness or resentment toward God. On the contrary, rather than blaming God for depriving her of her parents from such a young age, Nan loved the Lord and devoted her life to serving the Lord. When she reached adulthood, she began working on staff at the Ridgelands Bible College in London, also volunteering much of her time with various missions in the city. It was during this work she met her husband, Philip Pont, and the two of them were married in 1934. The couple then moved to Scotland in 1936 and spent the next 58 years serving in the gospel ministry in Falkirk, Shetland, Dundee, and Glasgow. The couple retired in 1984, and Nan died in her home in 1986 at the age of 80. God has given each of us a race to run. We do not know whether it will be short, like John Harper, or long, like his daughter Nan. So as we are commanded in Hebrews 12, let us lay aside every weight in the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Mm -hmm.